Either you rise or you fall Promo Climax time. This is Mike Clark and the Promo Champion. And my opponent this week is someone who I faced before in the inaugural Promo Climax, that being Ted P. DeNero. Now, Mr. DeNero, and to each and everybody in RWT, Max Wrestling, and everybody watching the Promo Climax, I've kind of been holding on to this secret for about three, four years now. You see, like Teddy P., like Chris Maldonado, who's also in this Promo Climax, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I like to rap. It's a little name I used to go by, by Larky Lark. I used to do a lot of freestyles. I used to have a lot of fun. I used to have artistic expression through music, because music evokes a lot of emotions. I used to write down some 16s. I used to bring that flavor in the proverbial ear. I used to be bout it, bout it. And I kind of wanted to share one of my freestyles that I did back in the day, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, here's one of my freestyles from about four years ago. I come from East Ice Slip, gave that girl a nice tip, cause she's the one that I like. Went up to her and said, hi, my name is Mike. I slice these cats up like Zorro. My best friend's name is Steve Nicoforo. I step up, you're the one to step down. And in case you don't know, EI is my town, just trying to get some tail. Waiting to exhale, sitting up in my room, hit you off with that boom, boom, boom. They see me coming down the block, they see my grin. But coming at me, that's just a straight up sin. Oh, yo, my name is The Lock. I'm the man with the bark, and I'm here to make my mark. Hey, yo, Teddy P, you put my shit on blast. Step to me, and I'll put you in a body cast. Rewind the tape. I said, if you step to me, I'll put you in a body cast. Fingers numb, toes tingle. Teddy P, you ain't going nowhere. Let's mingle. You want to talk about your sadness. Let me tell you something about sadness. When you're seasoned over and over again, your daddy is putting out his hand to tell you to squeeze it. I should be dead, Teddy. I should be dead. But no, nah, no, nah, that wasn't God's plan. You see, God said to me, Mike Larkin, you're a man on a mission about to make those decisions. By the end of this, I'll be changing your religion. Listen. Woo! I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. And a microphone in my hand. Teddy P, whatever you gotta say to me, I don't give a damn. With your nonsensical rhetoric and your overall natural high. <sighs> Take to the sky on a natural high. I'll be beating you, crushing you, telling you why. Woo! Mike Larkin is for real. De Niro. More like zero dollars and zero cents. You can't stop Mike Larkin's dominance. When it is all said and done, my heart will still be beaten. I am your maker for which you will be meeten. De Niro. This verbal assassination, obliteration, evisceration is priceless. Mwah. Kiss you, bitch ass. Next time you step to me, Teddy, you best come correct. Deuces. And I'm out. But before I leave, Teddy P, I'm from the E I E I uh oh, what's poppin' tonight? Swag on a hundred. What you know about that, Ted? I'm gonna let this beat take me out.
Michael, Michael, Michael. It comes down to us again, sir. These are little things that you may not understand that I have to win. See, me winning is destiny, Michael. I am not saying that I'm a better promo than you, Michael. What I am saying is that I am the one that was sent here to beat you, Michael. I am the one to fulfill this prophecy of you falling, Michael. This is my time. You're not understanding. It's okay. Because those who don't understand it's not for them to get and with that being said will you understand the win no no you will not you will not understand this win this win will come out of nowhere as a gust of wind and this gust of wind is the winds of change sir these winds bring in the change and also for you sir another segue to mr barrett i also have some bad news and it's the fact that you are now facing the future promo champion What are you not understanding that I am sent here to beat you? Yes, sir, you are extremely entertaining. But the one thing that you lack in is this intensity and realness that you need to cut a decent promo, something that tears out your heart. Something that people can feel. Understand. Michael, you are a great champion. You did what other people thought you couldn't do. And you beat the butcher. You beat David the butcher Gillum. You did it. And I was one of the first people chanting, Mikey, two belts. Mikey, two belts. But you know what? Becky lost hers last month, Michael. So what you need to understand is that this promo climax will be different. Not only do they not hate the Nero, but some of them actually love me. They love my heel antics. They love me for being who I am because I stood up and fought for RWT. I put my name on the line for RWT. And we sit here now as I'm putting my name on the line again for this promo championship that I want. I will have. It should have been me. And now we will also see that it will be me and If you don't understand that, it's not for you to get. Either you rise or you fall.